Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you a finished altered book that I had made about 10 years ago. It was featured in Stampington Somerset magazines and it's all paper whimsy images and Hilda Conkling poetry. I chose to use paper whimsy images because it, I wanted it to be consistent with the same type of theme throughout. And the Hilda Conkling poetry, uh, she was a young girl, I believe, from Maine. And she was first published with her first poems, at, I want to say, at the age of seven. And she only wrote until she was 12. Now, this is my third time filming this today. I'm really having fits um, and so right now I'm not using my tripod. I've just got my phone in my hand so I'm going to try not to be too bumpy uh, and just kind of give you a once over of this. I'm not actually going to paint a book. I'm going to just kind of flip through. I did have a comment on my Gothic Arch video where a um, viewer would like it if I would show how to make a collage from beginning to end. So in some ways I want to show you this because I think it could give you a different perspective. Collage can be done so differently on everything that you do. When I collage cards, I do them differently than when I collage books. Um, or gothic arches and while the gothic arch in my opinion is showing you how to collage it's a little bit different so I'll try to have a video just on the very basics of collage so back to the book uh, the book is actually an old book that I took apart and I glued the various pages down so that they would be thicker. I tore out pages um, and whatnot. And we'll, I'll show you that in a minute when we start looking through it. The cover I painted and then um, added the different layers of paper and the paper whimsy girls butterflies, old book text, and poetry. Now, I never use Mod Podge on altered books unless it's gluing blank pages together. Because if you do that, you are going to have pages that stick together and your images are going to come off and it's just going to be a frightful mess. What I live by is this stuff right here. It's called Liquitex Matte Gel and it's the medium. You want to get the medium because then it's clear and you can't, there's nothing blurry about it and it's not thick and nasty when it goes on. So matte gel medium, as with all groceries and other items, the container has shrunk drastically in size over the years. I always buy it at Michael's and I always buy it with a 40-50% off coupon. So now you're probably going to pay about 10 bucks uh, for a container of it. Um, I use it on finishing it. I use it on gluing it. That's how I start my books. Um, like I would start this by painting. And then adding, uh, when I'm getting ready to add the strips of poetry, which I've printed out in my Microsoft Word. And then in this particular book, I paint, or I'm sorry, I didn't paint it. I chalked it. I used um, a chalk and then I adhered it um, with the matte gel medium. But that's how I collage if it's going to be something that's not a card or something like that. There's a lot of charms in this book, so I'm going to need you to just be patient with the noise. It's a really beautiful sunny day, so I wanted to try to do another video because right now I'm really trying to build up my channel. And I really appreciate all the kind comments that you guys have really been so supportive to me. 
which I really appreciate. And I'm just going to flip through this the best that I can. This one in particular has um, bling and little buttons. But as you can see, the pages, this is long before stencils were really coming out and popular for mixed media that I made this. Um, I, it's just, I want to say the technique there was scrunching up some saran wrap and dipping it in paint. Wallpaper that's been cut down. It's a border. And then I added it. And this is like a rose color watercolor wash that I put on the book pages. And then added uh, poetry. And you can see that there's been several pages glued together until I get to the next one. So I want to say this was like my second altered book. And yeah, I've learned a lot. Um, and I would do many, many things differently. But it kind of just gives you a just of collage and what you can do to layer. And that's a purple page. This one uh, has the digital images in the background. Those are also paper whimsy. And then the girl is on top of the image. So it's like three layers. There's the window, the background, and then the girl. And then um, this also has stickers, old scrapbook stickers. Another one with stickers that are clear, just a peachy background. Now this one, um, this will give you a for instance of theme. I think I had gone with the coloring that's in the background of where these two little girls are, which is kind of a purple um, washy effect there. And then they have golden wings. So that's why I picked up and cut out pieces of pansy, went with yellow butterflies, a little bit of purple bling, because I'm just trying to go with the same theme. And then I ripped a yellow piece of pattern paper to highlight her and then the strips of the poetry. This next page has um, actual mulberry paper and that actually glued on fairly well. I was a little pleased with that because I wasn't sure. This page very neutral going with the theme of the girl and again no stencils, just like taking saran wrap and some uh, paint and making a texture background that way. Pattern paper. This actually has like a half key charm. Bling on the butterflies. Something fell off here. No, it didn't. I guess that is glued on her. This needs some words. I got the page done years ago and I never finished it. So I'm um, going again with the purple and then the little purple violets. More wallpaper for you to see. If you can see the card, that's actually a playing card and I alcohol inked that and then cut the image out and place that onto the page then with the wallpaper. Pieces of pattern paper painstakingly cut out and then um, the image with the little baby and the birds is an actual paper whimsy. And then I put the little girl image on top of it as well. Lots of charms and ribbons throughout the book. She's one of my favorite images. She looks just like my little girl when she was a little girl. 
but my little girl was much more blonde. But it, my, even my sisters thought that was my daughter. So that's how much she resembles her. This one is blue. Different colors. But what I did differently is I tore the strips of poetry. And another page that is waiting to be painted and collaged. And then this little guy. Right there. So, again, that just gives you an idea of how different it is to collage with making a art book, altered book, and or I'll grab some of these so we can look at these closer. The Gothic Arch. This has more uh, paper tearing and inking, uh, but you could do the same with the art journals too. This actual Gothic Arch has bubble wrap and then I applied some white paint to it. It has stamping and things of that nature. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more. We didn't actually make anything, but I wanted to just show you how if you go with a theme on something and just stick with it, like I said, the same poetry, um, it just flowed better for me. And hopefully, maybe in another video, we can actually make some pages in a book. Thanks. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.